my friends, I want to show you today the Harley Benton Baritone 7. This nice black guitar, satin black guitar. Gorgeous. Really, really nice looking guitar here. Let's go together to the spec list. We got a basswood body. It's a lightweight body. I will weight the guitar. Uh, we got a three three piece neck through Canadian maple. Now the guitar is completely lacquered, so I cannot really see the maple, but I can see that it's a neck through. I can slightly see the neck running through here. There's a little, just a little contour. So I can see the neck running through here and I can see some stripes of the neck running through. This nice neck joint, absolutely easy to access. Access, access the 24th, 24th? Yeah, 24th fret easily. Absolutely no problem. The neck shape is C shape, yeah. They are uh, right. That's a nice uh, C shape, shape, shape. Nice C shape, nice C shape. Uh, it's very comfortable, to be honest. I expected it to be thicker and wider, but no. Um, I'm not a very used seven string player. I had some seven strings, and were always uh, was always not satisfied with my, you know, the common brands in seven string but yeah the neck shape here is nice so it's not too thick and not too thin Ni nice C shape very comfortable no matter how you play I most of the time play with the thumb here and I always had problems on seven strings on a seven string guitar with this but no It feels like a six string, just with a with a string on top. Um, we got the fretboard is Rose Acer. Now the English side here still says uh, Rose Wood, and the German side says Rose Acer. Rose Acer is right. It's a treated maple. I will show you some pics of the fretboard. It looks really nice. Yeah, it's a it's a, a kind of treated maple, like baked maple, like Gibson used some time ago. But this looks really nice. It got not this. It's not this light brown color. It's very a dark uh, brown color. And, and in fact, uh, this uh, fretboard looks almost like zebra wood. I will show you some better pics. Uh, you will see it for yourself. Fretboard radius. 400 millimeter, yes, that's right. 24 frets, absolutely. The um, the frets are 2.7 millimeters wide. I measured it, it's true. Uh, double action truss rod, yes. The scale length is 689 millimeters or uh, 27.12 inch. So it's a baritone guitar. And that's what you want on a seven string. You want a longer scale length to get more tension on the strings so it will not sound floppy. Floppy, flappy, you got a nice bam on the string. No wobble wobble. Yeah, the nut with 48 millimeters, that's true. It's a graphite nut. Yes, it is a graphite nut. That's true. And it's a nice slotted graphite nut. I can tell you that. Now we got two Roswell 7 LBD high gain humbuckers um, and that's what I found out about them. I will show you here and what I can tell you is I found them to sound, I found them to sound and what I can tell you I think they sound really nice. Um, it says high gain humbucker and yeah they got a lot of, out, lot of output. In fact, I um, turned them a little, little bit down when I received the guitar because I found it just a little bit too much. 
um, and now they are fine. I in the past I always had always had the problem with the seventh string, with the B, B string, that it sounded just much too boomy over on an amp. On the other guitars I mentioned before, and on this guitar not. It sounds really. Uh, it fits all to nice together, all seven strings. It's not just like oh the six string sounds nice and then boom. No, they sound all seven sounds. All seven string, all seven string sounds balanced. So now we got it. Uh, yeah, one volume, one tone control, 500k if I'm not wrong. But we will look inside. A three-way toggle switch. We got black deluxe hardware. I can just say that we got black black hardware and it doesn't look bad. This doesn't look like bad hardware. There is no uh, no wire going on like on some tunematic bridges, and it's a string through body construction. So we got neck through and string through, and if that's right, what many people say, this guitar should have unbelievable sustain, and I have to say yes. I hope you can hear that. It got, it, it got sustained for years. Almost. It still rings. But the microphone cannot hear that. Yeah. Grover diecast machine heads. And the Grovers say they say 18 to 1. I will show you a pick here. That's the ratio, the turning ratio, if I'm not wrong. That means 18 turns you do are one turn, one complete turn of this, if I'm not wrong. Um, nice, they feel nice. There's no play, they feel really nice. The tuning, yeah. Standard seven string tuning, we got the E, A, D, G, B or H and E and and B. Now I received the guitar for some reason two half steps down. It was completely in tune but half two half steps down and I played it and it was okay. And I thought okay maybe they want it to be like this. Maybe they want it to be tuned in A. The top string was not B. But I, I tuned it now in B, in the standard tuning. And it comes with the Dario strings. And that's right, you can see the colors here that are the Dario strings. Now, what do I, did I forget? This is steel here, steel or some kind of metal. Maybe it's not steel, but metal. The input jack is metal. These are standard strap pins, but bigger strap pins. This strap pin is uh, recessed. It's more, oh, I cannot show it here. I will show you a pic. It's more into the horn, in there. So more stability. And yeah, completely satin black. The whole guitar is satin black. And we got a volute, which is always nice. The volute is always nice to have for stability. The headstock will probably not break on this guitar. Never. And yeah, that's it. Nice looking guitar. By the way, I really dig the headstock. I like the shape of it. Fits the seven, seven tuners really nice. Uh, it says deluxe here and here. The contours here are really sexy. The whole shape is sexy. The, the recessed knobs here and the switch all recessed into the body is sexy. Belly cut, sexy. And the snack joint, man, that's unbelievable sexy. So yeah, uh, that are the specs. And I would say let's hear some clean sounds. I will play this guitar directly into my Bugera V22 into a Harley Benton, 
2x12 cab with selection V30s, mic'd up with an Electro Voice CO4. I said this now so many times. So here we are again, let's talk about the uh, bad points. There are not much bad points. I got one sharp fret end here. This is the 15, 17, 19th, 19th fret. The 19th fret is a little bit sharp here at the end. But that's the only one. 
we got some minor issues with the lacquer and the finish i will show you that in some pics i cannot show you that on the camera it's too it's not mm. i cannot show it <laughs> you will have to see the pics so i hope you saw it saw it all because that's it there is not much more to say what can i say let me start with the good points the whole construction is really great we got a neck through design completely through the whole body this is open because i will show you a pic of this in a minute um, the whole design is really great string through body construction very loud and resonant guitar it's very easy to bl play uh, when i received the guitar the action was maybe was a little bit too high i lowered it and the action is now really low and it's so nice to play and the, the resonance is really uh, massive massive long the resonance is very resonant <laughs> um, yeah the construction the resonance the design the opti also the, the how it looks it's really gorgeous. Everything fits together on this guitar. Set in black guitar with black pickups, black uh, uh, pickup frames. Everything is black. The whole guitar is black. Set in black. Very nice. Grover tuners uh, are black. The headstock looks nice. It got it got this evil but still classy look for me. Okay, the Rose Acer fretboard is really nice. If I didn't show you already some pics, I will show you some pics now of this fretboard. It almost looks like zebra wood. The fretrest is really, really good. No problems. Like I said, I got already a low action here and I got no fret bars anywhere. No dead spots, nothing. Now, the pickups. I am surprised by the pickups. Um, when I read uh, high gain humbuckers before I received this guitar, I thought, oh no, again, this pickups with much, too much output and no clarity and the seven string will sound like shit again, probably. But then I got this guitar, plugged it in. And the first thing I always want to hear are the clean tones. Please, if you, if you buy yourself a seven string or eight string guitar and post a video on YouTube, please make some clean tones. I don't want this jammed overall. I can, that doesn't uh, give me the sound of the guitar. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and it sounds nice, nice. It's uh, exactly what I want from a seven string. I want the ability to still play my, my six string stuff. But maybe add a, a bass note if I want, or something, or for my finger picking stuff, what I always do. Yeah, you cannot hear it now, but uh, the ability to, to get a bass note to, to this usual stuff that I play is always nice. And I always had the problems on other seven strings before that uh, yes I could play it but it sounded completely different but this uh, pickups are really nice really uh, check them out for yourself I hope I showed you um, the informations I got about them really nice pickups so did I forgot something construction the overall look ah let's look now into the electronic cavity and you will see there are red and white wires okay and they are they are uh, glued together that means you can if you want you can coil split you can coil split these pickups you can install uh, a push pull pot if you want and split them sadly we don't have it here on this guitar but if you want you could split them too the electronic cavity is also completely shielded shielded with graphite lacquer yeah like i said 500k uh, volume pot and tone pot and the electronic cavity the overall um, soldering 
work looks okay. There are no complaints. So you see, we got no real complaints on this guitar. The only thing was this fret here and some minor issues with with the finish, uh, mainly and mainly here around the neck. And that's it. Very balanced guitar. So here we got now the guitar on the strap and that looks balanced to me. Yeah! <laughs> so, balanced guitar. Hmm. Yeah, and that's the end my friends. Really gorgeous guitar. If you are interested in the 7th string guitar, uh, maybe give it a try. If you can consider buying it because it looks cool but you didn't pull the trigger because you thought, like me, uh, the pickups, uh, they will sound like shit. I don't know what Roswell pickups are. They sound really good. They sound really good. Pull the trigger, try it out for yourself. If not, you can send it back to Toman. This guitar can be shipped worldwide. No rosewood on this guitar. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, share it and uh, use my Toman links if you want to buy the guitar. Please, the link will be in the description. You, uh, you don't have to do much. You just press the link, maybe make a bookmark of it in your browser. Buy something, you don't even have to buy this guitar, you can buy something else. And I will give, uh, I will get some points from them so I can buy and review more stuff. And I say thank you, I will play this guitar a little bit more. Uh, and we will see us, and we will see us soon for another review or something else. Thanks for watching, bye. <coughs>